My pleasure to get everybody to support Snap News. I'm Joe Borick, and the Phantoms unfortunately succumbed to their issues with the game today against the Hartford Wolfpack and fall 6 to 4 due to not being able to recover after a very lousy, to say the least, second period that they gave them not one, not two, not three, not four, but five goals in the second period, which is the reason, not one of the reasons, the reason they lost this game. Combined with the fact that Melkov had his first bad AHL game, giving up the puck to let Brzezinski extend, um, that, well not extend, break the record actually of a goal streak. That was one set by Ryan Callahan, who was beloved as a captain of the New York Rangers as well as when he was with the Wolfpack. So Brzezinski broke that record. Overall, the Phantoms came out, established themselves early. Hayden Hodgson wired one. Uh, Charlie Gerard was able to score. They were up 2-0. Uh, even while not playing the most squeakiest clean overall game, but they were still up 2 nothing, And then they actually started getting shots on better and more consistently after the first. But shots to me, like I've said this before in page video, that can be an overrated step because your shot total don't matter if you're not being able to find the high octane changes and execute on them where that was an issue for the fans in this game. Keith Kincaid played a good game, but I don't think he played spectacular where they played better even though, like, I don't agree with what Road Truck said on the broadcast, even though they <clears throat> might have not had as much shots in unison as it was in the third period as they started piling up to get to, I think it was 37 by the end of the game, they still had 35 shots total in the game. They beat Providence. I didn't really get the point he was making of the whole playing better even in a losing effort of this game thing. I didn't think that was the case, but the thing that I did take away in the positive of this game, which the damning second period and the fact that Melkoff had an off game on the um, goal allowed from the point, and then also, of course, the turnover uh, that allowed Brzezinski to score. Uh, you just can't have that happen, and and that's just never, never, never going to get you uh, wins. But Niels Lundqvist's goal was also ugly. You got to pick up that shot from the point. Unfortunately, he did not. But the thing I take away from, from this game as a wrap-up point is perseverance and um, the keep staying with it mentality. That this team had, they could have just bowed out after that awful second period, and that's what we saw the parent club do all too much this year. That's why the Flyers, one of the reasons why they struggle bunny so much this year, the second periods are awful. But then they bow out of the game and have no give and no care. It seems like obviously they do have giving care, but they just seems like from perception wise watching that they don't have enough to give or enough to care after that off second period. The Phantoms aren't like that, and they weren't like that in this game. So even in a bad game, you can say at least. They have that stick with it mentality with the best of them, and they were able to persevere to get it to six to four. And Wyatt Wiley was able to keep his hot streak going, as well as Hayden Hodgson, uh, who leads the team in goals. And Isaac Ratcliffe was literally able to slam one home as he kept pounding away at Kincaid's path to get it through, as that was what got them to the fourth goal to lose six to four. But it all comes down to you need to have better goaltending. Milk have been playing a good game, and you have to have a much better middle period. You're not going to beat most teams in the league, and especially one of the best teams and best coach teams in the league, when you come out that flat and allow that much of high percentage chances in a particular period of the second period, where it was like two minutes at a time, three minutes at a time, they were getting goal, 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 and then there was five goals all of a sudden in the second period. You can't have that. The Phantom obviously have to rebound from that. They had a good game against the Providence Bruins after having a bad game against the Bridgeport Islanders, then come back out with having a up and down because solid first period, awful second period. They were able to get some chances in the third, but it was too little, too late to battle back, but at least they had that stay with it mentality that if you didn't have that awful the second, the fans probably honestly would have won this game if they just had a mediocre second, but because of how awful it was a lot of five goals, that is what ended up losing this game. We now look for them to bounce back against the Bellevue Senators, who are 16 and 18, who they will be at currently, they are 16 and 18, they probably have another game, maybe before Tuesday, I'm not sure of their schedule, but we play them on Tuesday, back at home at the PPL Center, where I will do a preview for that game, either on Monday night or early on Tuesday. Stay safe out there, everybody, enjoy the weekend, and let's have the Phantoms rebound next week. They went one of two on the weekend, winning on Friday against the Providence, Providence Bruins, excuse me, thrashing them, and then unfortunately losing on Saturday against the Hartford Wolfpack. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Go Phantoms. Get them back next week.